بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome all viewers I would like to dedicate this video to our brother in Islam Da'wah man Recently he announced that he is going to be taking a step back from the Da'wah scene Why? In order to seek knowledge Allahumma barik I've made a personal decision to for a few years take some time out in fact take all my time out of the Da'wah and focus on seeking knowledge. So although I'd like to specifically dedicate this video to Da'wah man as he embarks on this journey of seeking knowledge, this really is general advice to all the Muslims. Everyone watching this video, this is going to be a little bit about what to expect when you seek knowledge of the religion. Recently, our brother Muhammad James, he posted a video entitled Developing the Mindset of a Student of Knowledge. I'm going to be playing some clips from that video and I'm going to share some of my thoughts as well. Just to provide some context, Muhammad James, he studied in Yemen for about 15 years, and then he went and lived in Saudi Arabia for six years. Just recently, he came back to America, and we started recording some videos together. And I should also mention that I spent about eight years studying at the Islamic University of Medina in Saudi Arabia. So although we studied in different cities at different times, we both traveled from America to go abroad and seek knowledge of the religion. So we would just like to share some of our experience, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it beneficial. So without further ado, here's the first clip. Even if you have a class, you still have to have the right mindset and you have to be prepared for what you're undertaking. Because if you're thinking that you're going to go into seeking knowledge and it's, everything's going to be comfortable for you, that you're not going to be tested and you're not going to go through any trauma and drama and all types of trials and tribulations, then you're going to be sadly mistaken. And you're going to, be, you're going to set yourself up for a world of pain that you might not be able to recover from. And a lot of people have gone through this world of pain and they haven't recovered from it. So we posted this video on another YouTube channel called Ilm Institute Academy, and that channel is dedicated more so to students of knowledge, specifically where we talk about books, about courses, and about seeking knowledge. So although at first glance, when you hear that, it might seem like he is trying to deter people from seeking knowledge by saying, you know, you're going to suffer trauma. It's going to be difficult. But the reality is this video is meant to motivate you. Tons of people have this romantic idea about what seeking knowledge entails. And as a result, tons of people have a bad experience because they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Countless people went abroad to seek knowledge and they were chewed up and spit out. I remember when I sat for my interview applying to the Islamic University of Medina and the person who was giving me the interview, he told me that a lot of people had this romantic idea in their head what it's like going abroad, studying and living in Medina. They think about the Sahaba and it just, it seems like a dream. But he told me, it's going to be difficult. You're going to have to work really hard. It's not going to be this idealistic situation. But my response was, I don't care. All I want in this world is to come here and study. I'll do whatever it takes, inshallah. I just want this opportunity. And I would stress that's the mindset you have to have if you really want to benefit. Because of course, when you set out to seek knowledge, you're setting out to seek the greatest thing on the face of this earth. You're going on this journey to seek knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his religion and his messenger and your purpose of why you're here. So you can start to fulfill that purpose and you can start to fulfill the rights of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has over you as your creator, as your Lord, as your sustainer, as the one who's giving you all the things and uh, facilitated everything that you need in this life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. So the only way that you can truly be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all he's given you is by learning his religion and trying to worship him in the way that he has ordered you and commanded you to worship him. So this is the greatest of all tasks on the face of this earth. See, and this is where Muhammad James reminds you of the reason you're seeking knowledge. Because when somebody finds out that they're going to be going through hardship when they seek knowledge, it's not just going to be a walk in the park. If you really have the right mindset, it's not going to deter you from seeking knowledge, but rather it's going to remind you the greater the difficulty, the greater the reward. Look at what people are willing to do in the life of this world for money or fame, how hard they'll work and study, how many years they'll go to school to be a doctor, for example, how hard they'll work, how hard athletes will practice and train. When you really want to be excellent at anything, you're going to go through trials and tribulations. You got to work hard. If that's the case for even worldly things, then what about seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What about learning about his religion, learning how to worship him properly, learning Arabic, learning the Quran? Walking a path where Allah will facilitate the way to Jannah for you. Embarking on a journey that ultimately ends with eternal paradise in the hereafter. If anything in this world is worth enduring trials and tribulations, then surely seeking knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is at the very top of that list. 
So this is just the reality of the situation. As a Muslim, you're going to be tested regardless. Just trying to do the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you to do, you're tested on a daily basis. When you walk out of your house in the West, lowering your gaze and trying to protect your modesty and try to protect your, you know, your behavior as a Muslim, you're tested on a regular basis. But when you go out and you study the religion, uh, you're going to be tested even more. I remember when a brother told me, uh, it's a brother from Britain. He mentioned to me when, one time when we were, we were in the and we're sitting down and we're talking. And he told me, he said, yeah, Akhi. he said, when I was in Britain, he said that the shaitan, he used to, you know, whisper to me. He's, you know, like doing the whispering. He said, but now shaitan has a bullhorn and he's yelling in my ears all day long, telling me, do this, do this and get out of here. Leave, 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 leave. This is the reality. This is the reality because now you've waged war on shaitan and all of his army. You waged war on all the people that have gone against the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You waged war on the people that choose, that have chose disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by going and seeking knowledge of this religion. So you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested with the people. You're going to be tested, uh, you know, with all types of trials and tribulations. So think about that. He's saying you are waging war against the shayateen. So they're going to be after you. They are going to try to deter you from taking this path. So as a student of knowledge, you have to have that mindset. You have to know that you are at war with the Shayateen. Imagine you walk into a battle. You walk into a fight and you think it's going to be easy. You think it's going to be simple. It's not something that you're mentally or emotionally prepared for. You didn't train for it. You're going to get pulverized. You're going to get demolished. And this is what happens, unfortunately, with some of the people that take this path. But inshallah, when you go into it with the proper mindset, you have a clause and you have that determination, then there's nothing better that you can do with your life. And also we should mention that there are levels to seeking knowledge. There are people who, maybe you're a professional, maybe you embraced Islam later in life. I know that there are students at Institute Academy, they embraced Islam, they're medical professionals, but they still seek knowledge in whatever free time that they have and they work hard and they benefit. So although this specific video is about those who really, they want to travel abroad, they want to study full time for many years, hopefully this can also be a motivation for those of you who seek knowledge at home. You don't necessarily travel abroad. But for those of you who do want to travel abroad and be a full time student of knowledge, here's some of what Muhammad James experienced. Everything that we went through, uh, so many brothers, like, I mean, like sickness was just a common thing. You know, like uh, brothers getting sick, uh, dysentery, amoeba, typhoid, malaria. I think most of all of us brothers that were in the match back in the days, we all went through all of these sicknesses at one point in time. And we all had malaria. Uh, I got stung by a scorpion and I had to sit in the, in the house with my foot like the size of a basketball waiting for the swelling to go down. I couldn't go get water because back in those days, there was no, there was no electricity. There was no running water. You had to go out and get the water yourself. I had to wait for people to come to my room just to bring me water. Cause I couldn't even walk because of my foot after being stung by that scorpion. We all got tested with poverty. We had, you know, we all had large spans of time where we went without food, good food or any food, sometimes no food. And then sometimes just like, you know, we might go like eight, nine months and not even have chicken, a piece, even a, even a leg of a chicken, eight, nine months without even having chicken. We might go two years without even having meat. So that's just the reality. Brothers had to go out and, you know, maybe get a job, uh, slaughtering chickens to make money. I had to work one time in a in a, a dukan, which is like a little food store, just so I could get some money to buy slippers, uh, sandals, because I was walking around for one month with no shoes. For one month, I had no shoes. You know, and uh, you know, walking in the sand, walking on the thorns. I have to go up the mountain to get water. I had no shoes, and the people were laughing at me. They thought I was just doing it because I read a hadith or something. It wasn't because I had no money to buy the shoes. And they couldn't believe that. They said, how? You're an American. You don't even have money to buy shoes. I said, I don't. So I worked one month in the store just to buy the shoes. It's just the reality of the situation. But the thing is, in every single trial and tribulation that we went through, we enjoyed it because we knew what we were doing it for. See, that's the key. Even though students go through all these trials and tribulations, it's for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're learning the religion. You're getting closer to Allah. And a blessing like that cannot be measured by any trial or tribulation. So we need to focus on increasing the knowledge amongst the people. And the only way that the knowledge can be increased is that we have to get that weak, weak, weak mindset out of the people. This is a religion that you're going to go through struggles. Go back and read the life of the Prophet Wasallam. Get that mindset right before you leave. Get that mindset now that you're in it. One, you're in it for the long run. 
If you have to stay gone for five years, 10 years, 15 years, don't even be concerned about what you miss. Because trust me, you miss nothing. You miss nothing. You know, you're not going to miss anything on Facebook. You're not going to miss anything on YouTube. You're not going to miss anything on Instagram. You're not going to miss anything anywhere because nothing's going on. People aren't doing anything. There's people aren't about anything great. You're leaving your life off and you're leaving all these comforts off for something that's great. To do something great. To be a part of something that's something great. That this is the tariq of the NBA. This is the path of the prophets. And that's what you want to be a part of. And then you're going to just have to do away with all that stuff. That's just the reality of the situation. And have that mindset. And inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you. All those tests and tribulations, you'll be going through things that you never thought that you could go through. And be patient, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the patience. But you have to have the correct intentions, and you have to be doing that to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And trust me, you'd be surprised at the things that you could be patient with. Things that you couldn't be patient with if they happen to you in the dunya. Allah will give you that patience. Keep making dua. Keep asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance. And wallahi, wallahi, you'll find that you'll be able to do things that you were never able to do. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does assist you to do it, you will, alhamdulillah, succeed. subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Jazakallah khair Muhammad James for recording that video. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us to seek knowledge, to learn his religion, to get closer to him, to implement what we learn and to spread the message. And I want to close this video by also saying there are ways to make seeking knowledge easier. There are ways to get further in your journey and to benefit more. And one of the best ways that I found was regarding those who started young. People who grew up learning Arabic, memorizing Quran, learning about the religion. They had such a huge head start when they arrived overseas to seek knowledge. And as a result, they were able to get much further. So one thing we really want to do here in Jacksonville, where me and Muhammad James both reside, we want to give an opportunity for children to be raised properly, as well as get a head start in seeking knowledge. So we are working on purchasing a school building so that we can establish a full-time Islamic school. So even for those of us who are older, we already grew up the way that we grew up. It's too late for us to go back and you know memorize the Quran from a young age and learn Arabic. But what we can do is we can support this project and get the reward by providing an opportunity for the youth to get that head start so that they can learn the religion at a younger age, they can seek knowledge and strive further, and they can benefit the ummah and the world at large. So please check the link in the description and help support this project. Allah knows best. Jazakum Allahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.